in Ruby, there are a number of ways to create anonymous pieces of code that we can move throughout our application. Proc is one such way to create an anonymous callable. Procs are instantiated in Ruby whenever you call proc.new, whenever you use the two proc syntax, or indeed when you fully capture a block into an enclosing scope. When you create a proc via proc.new, it takes a block, just like any of the enumerable methods we've taken a look at so far. One problem with procs is that unlike function calls, they don't get a stack frame. And this can cause them to have incredibly confusing behavior. When you invoke the return keyword from within a proc, it's going to actually return from the flow of control of the first calling site above the proc that itself has a stack frame which might be a method definition, a function, a constructor, or something else. Because of this behavior, it can sometimes be unintuitive to use the return keyword from within a proc. Because procs don't get a stack frame, they also can't validate the arity of arguments that are passed into them. And sometimes this works to your advantage, in particular when using procs with hash enumerables. But, this can be incredibly confusing when you're using proc somewhere where you need to validate the number of arguments that are passed to you to have the correct behavior. Just like procs, lambdas are also an anonymous callable in Ruby that take a block of code and can be passed around. You can create a lambda with the lambda keyword or the stabby lambda syntax on more recent Rubies. Unlike procs, lambdas do get a stack frame. And that means using the return keyword inside them is safe. They behave in the exact same way a function does, popping the current stack frame and returning the flow of execution to their caller. Lambdas also validate arity because they get a stack frame. And that means that when you pass the correct number of arguments into a lambda, they work. And if you don't pass the correct number of arguments into a lambda, you get an argument error, which is a useful way to indicate that you may have a problem in your application. Let's take a look at some examples of how procs work in Ruby. Firstly, let's take a look at this proc here at the top of the file, our proc called p. This proc takes two arguments, arg1 and arg2, and it prints both of them. Here, we're invoking p with a single argument, the number one. If we run this Ruby file, you can see here that it prints one and then nil. And the reason for that is that Whilst this proc takes two arguments, we're not actually giving it the second one. And so by default, Ruby will make that argument nil. 